Metal Detector Metal detectors are gadgets that are capable of detecting metal elements on a surface. The proximity at which the detectors can detect metals depends on the detector's range it can cover. We can find a metal detector at airports, theaters, and various other public places. They are used for the safety of people, to detect anyone carrying a metal, arms etc. In this project, we are going to design a simple metal detector circuit. There are so many metal detector designs, but most of them are complex. So here we are going to design a simple metal detector circuit using triple five timer IC. These are the components which are needed in this project. Triple five timer IC, eight pin IC base, one kilo ohm resistor, two. 10 kilo ohm resistors, 2, 2.2 microfarad, electrolytic capacitors, 100 nanofarad, ceramic capacitor, 10 milli henry inductor, using copper coil, 1 red LED, 1 buzzer, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in 3 different modes, monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in a stable mode. So it will continuously give the high and low signal, at its output pin. In the circuit, there is an RLC circuit formed by 10 kilo ohm resistor, 2.2 microfarad capacitor, and a inductor. This RLC circuit is the metal detection part. The inductor is made by wounding a copper coil without any core. So it will call the air cord inductor. When a metal piece is brought near the coil, the metal piece acts as a core, for the air cord inductor. By this metal acting as a core, the inductance of the coil changes, or increases, considerably. With this sudden increase in the inductance of coil, the overall impedance of the RLC circuit changes by a considerable amount. At first when there is no metal piece, then signal fed to the buzzer, causes some audible sound. When a metal piece is brought near the coil, then with the reactance change around the RLC circuit, the signal sent to buzzer, will no longer be the same as before. Because of this, the sound produced by the buzzer will change. These components will be used, to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now. We will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker, to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer, to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter, to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch, inside the hole. Now we will solder, the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor, will protect the LED, from high voltage and current. Now we will solder, the power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor.
connect pin number 8 of IC with 5 volt supply. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Short pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 2. Now we will solder the 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. This is a non-polarized capacitor, so we can mount it from either side. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive, and the other side is negative. Now we will solder 2.2 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now we will solder the second capacitor. Now we will take the copper wire and wrap it on any round object to make the coil. Now we will do the tinning on the end terminals of the coil. Now we will solder the coil between pin number 3 of IC base and capacitor C1. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base with the ground terminal. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now we will plug the triple 5 timer IC on the 8 pin IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.